Hallo Metal MD User, wir stehen hier mit einem neuen Musiker, neues Interview, neues Gespräch und neben mir steht. Hey, this is Jeff Loomis in Nevermore. How are you doing? <coughs> Jeff, we are on the big festival now, but you're not playing for, here for the first time. How does it feel to be again at Wacken Festival for you on the anniversary of Wacken? Yeah, especially on the anniversary. I mean, being back here on the 20th uh, year is just incredible for us. And uh, to be invited back again is just so awesome. And we're really, really looking forward to performing today and playing in front of uh, our fans and, and new fans alike. So it's going to be cool. Can't wait. Did you talk to my colleague about uh, mm -hmm. a new record coming out and writing mm -hmm. it? So what's the actual status of the new record? The actual status of the new record is that it's already written. Everything's done. Um, it's going to be called The Obsidian Conspiracy. And uh, basically I have about 13 new tracks uh, written with the band that uh, we're going to start recording next week, actually. We're going to record the drums in Seattle, and then we're going to record uh, the rest of the album in North Carolina mm. with uh, Peter Witchers overseeing the project, who is, of course, the you know fabulous guitar player from uh, Soil Work. Yeah. And then uh, Worrell and I will uh, travel to England, and uh, we'll go to Andy Sneep's uh, studio, and he'll mix the record. So, How many be, songs will there be? 13 songs. Uh, we're hoping 13 songs, something like that, yeah. Uh, we're hoping. <laughs> I, I heard a lot of musicians telling, you can do 12 songs, you can do 14 songs, but you can't do 13 songs. It's a bad yeah. number, it's a bad luck number. <laughs> well, there's, so, a, there's a first time for everything, right? Yeah. So, yeah, maybe we should try that and see if it works for us. Who knows? But uh, that's how many we have. You know, lots of times, you know, musicians or bands will... Excuse me, I got hair in my mouth. <laughs> lots of times musicians or bands will record that much music, but they won't use it all. So maybe just 11 songs will make it on the album. Yeah. Um, I ended up just writing a little bit more than we needed. Um, just just to have that extra music so yeah you did a solo record so do mm -hmm. you think that getting that stuff out of your system will affect the, th the new songs or um, I don't know you know I, I wanted to do an instrumental uh, CD for so long just because I'm a fan of that style of music and uh, I finally had that opportunity but I think you know with the new Nevermore um, it's it still sounds like like the band but I think I'm giving Worrell a little bit more room this time around for, for more vocals rather than you know all the notey kind of complex stuff and you know all that so this time around it's just a little bit more wide open musically for him to really be able to uh, to uh, do whatever he wants vocally this time around so we'll see what happens it's going to be a, an interesting album for us for sure yeah. do you think that his solo record that he did, getting his songs out of his system, <laughs> not showing I want to do this, I want to do that, yeah. might have an effect? That's, you know, I guess we'll see. You know, I mean, you really don't start knowing that stuff until you really get back in mm -hmm. into the studio and start working with one another. You yeah. know, um, we'll see, man. It's uh, it's it's going to be challenging, but it'll be fun at the same time because we, we have a lot of fun in the studio, you know, creating and so, so forth. So, yeah, it's one of those things we'll have to see what happens. Yeah. It's a mystery. <laughs> Mush is a good word, and that and what we were talking about oral anyway, because mm -hmm. I used to to hear a story that's a long time back when uh, he was mistaken of being Doro at a festival because uh, he had this weird haircut at the time, both were blonde. Yeah. Do you know that story? Um, no, but I can kind of see how that could uh, happen, <laughs> you know, because uh, I know they both had the bangs thing, you know, yeah. back then, but uh, yeah, you know. World's uh, looking completely different nowadays. Yeah, no. He went for like a whole new look. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess it's cool to be different at times and change your whole, you know, your whole way you look. You know, and not looking anymore I like still Doro. Look the same, man. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't look like Doro anyway. So. No, no, no. I'm, I'm much taller and fatter than she is. So, so <laughs> she's looking good, very good still for uh, all these years. You know, playing music, she looks great. Yeah. So, thank you very much for the interview. Yeah, thank you very much. For Hope you have me. a good show. Okay. And uh, see you then. Great. Thank you.